To preserve all the white of the paper for the lighter areas, we need to add masking fluid in all the relevant places. Now lay a wash of ultramarine blue, leaving out the cloud area. Lift out some of the lower sky and smudge the cloud with a tissue. We want it to look abstract. Lay a light wash of burnt sienna over the mountain. Mix a dark blue purple for the cloud shadows. Now don't paint the tree area. Leave it open and reveal the tree outlines. Add the sky holes as well. Now don't go too far down on the left side. Leave out the sunlit areas and control the lighter shades with a tissue. Add in some darker color for the very deep shading. Add to the contouring and molding of the mountain. Mix a nice bright yellow green color and paint in the undercoat of the trees on the right. With a dark mix of green and burnt sienna, paint the deep shadows, being careful not to paint out the tree highlights. Do all this in a spotting action, as this presents a more realistic appearance. Do all this while the paint is still slightly damp. We want merging to happen, because there are no visible details. Continue to paint in the shading lower down, and some more to the very right of the painting. The trees to the left are mostly in deep shade because the light is from the left hand side. The trees will get progressively lighter towards the right. And carefully spot in the tree outlines with the tip of the brush. They must all be of differing heights. Work in the shadows while still damp to encourage merging. These trees are nice and dry now, so touch up some of the very darks. Go back to the left hand trees and lift out some lighter areas to add visual depths and then paint the river banks. Remove all the masking fluid and with a small round brush and some light burnt sienna fill in all the tree trunks. And dab with a tissue if they are a bit too dark. Add the shadows with burnt sienna to which a touch of ultramarine blue has been added. Do this for all the trees on the right, as well as the branches of the main tree. Add in all the various dark shadows. Make them a bit darker than you think they should be. Remember, all dark washes tend to dry lighter than the initial application. And add the shadows to the side of the trees. Add the various tonal ranges and the color of the rocks on the embankment. Continue on the embankment on the right hand side and paint in all the various shadows and sunlit areas. Keep the brightest spot directly under the large tree. Paint in the blue water reflections behind the duck and add the reflections of the trees. Add some thin horizontal lines with masking fluid and when dry, wash in the dull green water. When still a bit damp, drop in some of the dark shadow color from dark green to the left. Paint the underpainting of the lower left bank. The narrow duck is small in the painting, so we have only a hint of details. Just the various blocks of color will show him up nicely. Remove the masking fluid in the water and on the duck's wing. And glaze in the lighter colors. Please like this video if you have enjoyed watching it and leave a comment below. Don't forget to subscribe so we can inform you when we bring out more new tutorials like this one. If you would like to see the paint along version of this class, head over to our website onlineartlessons.com. Thank you for watching.